We were able to just travel the country and see so many amazing things that like, I don't really want to see in a picture. <laughs> I'd rather be there firsthand. They call it the land of a thousand hills. It's beautiful, it's so green. I've honestly probably never seen a place that's more beautiful. Early on we learned about the genocide and I think that from the fact that it's only been 24 years since the genocide, you would think that Rwanda would be in a much worse place than they were now. I definitely did not realize exactly how devastating that the genocide was. The country as a whole has really just fostered an environment of forgiveness. There was a saying at the front of the memorial, it was Mbutu, and that means I am what I am because of what we are. For them, it's like this huge tragedy that has changed their whole culture and society. The amount of growth that Rwanda has shown in 24 years is crazy and people couldn't dream of doing those things in a hundred years and they've done it in a fourth of that. International development is a, such a cool concept because when we learned about it, we learned about the process of changing and developing a country based on their needs and wants. To do the sports and development part keeps that fun aspect that keeps children wanting to come back. They're not really realizing they're learning because they're having fun while they're doing it. I think that sport really brings people together and I think we got to see that a lot through kicks and kids play. I think KPI was one of our first trips that we went to, being there and being with the kids. I don't think that they understood how much of an impact it made on us. So we went into the gates and we were passing like the whole community and everything and then when we got to the end all the kids came out to play soccer with us. We got to run around with them and play a lot of games while also being able to teach them things like teamwork and communication. It's kind of a way for them to use sports to overcome certain things. That was when I first really learned that you can use a sport as like a way to develop just camaraderie and just other things. Just being able to play soccer with those kids, just being able to communicate with them through a sport was awesome because we don't speak the same language. For a, a moment in my life, I kind of felt like I accomplished a goal. The joy that I saw from the kids we played with and the joy I got from it was just something that I had I don't think I'll ever be able to, to experience again. Kix was for the second week of the trip. We just got to run gym classes for the elementary school age kids. Every day we set up a plan, divided into our groups, did our sports together. The last day we had a field day. There was about two or three of us at each station and the stations included like soccer and flag football. When we were with the little kindergartners and we got to give them all their certificates, we took a picture with them and they were so happy to see us. So they really made me feel like I was helping. I would have never expected that to come from Rwanda, a tiny country in Africa. It was definitely an eye-opening experience. I feel like I learned way more than I could have just in a classroom. I don't think people realize like what they've gone through and where they are now. Just being able to be in a place where development was happening and working, I think that is something that I will cherish forever. If I think I'm going through something that is tough, I kind of say Rwanda or think about things that happened while we were there and they've overcome so much and I can too.